Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut, and in this video what we're going to be doing is showing you how to factory reset your Windows 10 operating system. Now to do this, fortunately you're not going to need a Windows setup DVD or USB drive or anything like that. These settings are available within the control panel on Windows. Now how to get there is you just want to go down here and click on your start menu. Go up two notches to the settings and this will open up the control panel, the Windows settings. So from here what you're going to want to do is scroll down just a little bit until you get to the update and security. Go ahead and click on that and here you'll have a lot of different things going on. You could do your Windows updates through here, you could do recoveries, troubleshoot, but what we're going to be focused on is recovery. Now here is where you can reset your PC or do an advanced startup. I'm going to go over both of these real quick. First, the general reset this PC. If you're looking just to do an easy, quick, clean reset, this is what you're going to want to do. Go ahead and click get started and you'll have two options, either keep my files or remove everything. If you keep my files, this is still going to remove all the programs, it's going to reset all the Windows settings to default, but you'll still have key files such as Word documents and things like that. I will note, if you do decide to do this, please back up any files that may be on your computer just in case. You never know if it might delete something, what might happen, so it's always good to have a backup of your important files. Remove everything, like I said, will completely wipe the entire system and reboot as if you just installed Windows Fresh. So you go ahead and select whatever one you need. So for example, if I clicked on keep my files, I'll start getting things ready. It won't take too long, but for right now, I'm actually going to cancel that and I'm going to do an advanced to start up so I can show you a couple extra settings here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on restart now. And what that will do is it will take me to the advanced settings menu. Now here we have a couple options. We can either continue, which will just put me right back into the Windows 10 operating system, or go to Troubleshoot. Now here you'll have a couple options. You have Reset This PC, which is essentially what we were just looking at, the Keep My Files and the Remove Everything. But if I go ahead and go back and do Advanced Options, well, you'll notice I have a couple more options here. Now, if you are trying to reboot or reset your computer to factory settings because of some sort of issue that has recently occurred, there may be a chance that you could go in here and do a system restore and boot to a recovery point on your computer, uninstall updates, do a system recovery image, or even change Windows startup behavior. So for example, if you're having issues, you can boot up to this in safe mode, which may allow you to access files or get basically into your system and recover anything that you may have lost. In this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back, reset this PC. We're gonna be, let's keep all my files and then it will go ahead and reboot. And when it does reboot, you'll see this, reset this PC. We're just gonna pick my user, type in my password. And once it does that, it's gonna start the resetting process. It's gonna ask you to confirm, so it's gonna remove all the apps, programs that didn't come with the PC, change the settings back to their defaults, and reinstall Windows without removing your personal files. You just go ahead and click reset, and it's going to go ahead and do that. You can see down there, it has a little progress bar so you can see how far along it is. So let's go ahead and skip ahead in this video and see what's next. Once it's up, your computer will begin the reinstallation process of Windows. Make sure not to turn off your computer as it states on the screen, and your computer may restart several times during this process. And then when it finally boots up, the one thing that will be different than the typical install is you can see here that I'm able to do my normal login. I don't need to go through and reset up my user profile or go through that annoying Windows startup where you basically have to decline all of the Windows features. So that concludes this video on resetting Windows 10 to the factory settings and clearing up your files. And overall, this should increase your computer's performance if you've been having performance issues. If this video has helped you out in any sort of way, please smash that like button. Leave a comment if you have any questions, concerns, or anything of that nature. I hope you have a great day. Make sure you subscribe for more Windows tutorials just like this. Hit that bell so you're notified when they're uploaded. 
Have a great day and goodbye.